Hi everyone, welcome into the Academy here at Chesterfield Golf Club. Lovely to have you along for another video. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got Trev mooching about. Um, we're trying to keep him indoors, as you can see from the reverse camera. We've got the shutter open, so we've got a lovely sunny day at Chesterfield, but it's very windy. So that's why we're going to stay indoors. Trev, stay here. He's been in and out a little bit, Trev, at the moment, all today. So he's bringing a bit of grass in. So if the academy doesn't look like it's normal clean self, that's the reason why. So I apologize if it looks a little bit kind of grassy, but Trev's been bringing it in from the outside. Um, this exercise or this feeling, as you can see from the notes, is all about less is more backswing. So we did a little bit of less is more very early video. It could have even been the, one of the first videos. Maybe the first video outside was less is more. And that was on about how we can try and have less movement of our chest, especially for the over the toppers, and let your arms then blend up with this movement of your body instead of being able to over move. So you go and take a look at that after this, if you like, about that movement. But this is about backswing. So getting in a correct position at the top of the backswing, it's not be all and end all, but it will help if you're delivering this club from a more neutral position. One area it can help is your fairway wood off the floor. This has got the least loft we hit that's probably on the floor. This is now difficult. This has got to be pretty precise to hit this ball square right at the back of the ball. Remember, we're not doing a wedge, we're not hitting down on this. This has got to be pretty precise. This feeling, which I'm going to do first of all and show you with an iron, will help you with that. And this is less is more backswing. People who struggle with consistency, remember what we're trying to do here, we're trying to blend all our legs, body and arms and hands together and trying to make this as neutral as we can. If we have all these three elements moving in unison, you've got more chance of a repeatable swing, less compensation. That's going to make you more consistent. They over move their top half so their arms and hands are in the wrong position coming down so they have to then make a compensation. This is backswing. Because if you're in the wrong area in the backswing, if the order, the sequence on the backswing is wrong, it's going to be difficult to then proceed to do the correct sequence on the way down too. So what you don't want to do, you don't want to have this body that's kind of stopping and the arms carrying on. So you're going to get, it's going to be exaggerated a little bit, I'm showing you, but you can see from the, the front view, my arm is very, very bent at the top of the backswing. I kind of can't bend it anymore. And if you feel like, you're in this narrow bent position. So you get to about here, looks okay, but then you do this final kind of no man's land swing at the top of the backswing. If you're trying to create power from this over bent right arm, you're probably going to cast it and throw it out because you can't go from bent and get it in the position you want halfway down. It won't work, especially under speed because under speed, remember instinctively we're trying to create some power or some natural speed coming into the ball, but from this overbent position, it's just gonna to go to straight. And you're kind of looking for the opposite. Just layer a little feeling of this, especially, like I said, into your fairway woods, because it'll really get you a bit more swept into the back of the ball. Okay, so remember from another thing, another from this kind of very narrow overbent position with our arms, very hard to be wide and into the back of the ball, so nine times out of 10, you're gonna come over because your arm's gonna start straightening and you're gonna come over the top as well. So you can see from behind, obviously it's extreme and I'm trying to do it, but it's gonna encourage this kind of a cross and chop action. Power loss, direction loss, strike everything. It's really gonna struggle, and especially if you start going up the clubs to the longer clubs where it requires a bit more sweep. So let me show you what I'm after. So what I'd like you to introduce a little bit into your game. So. Less is more, so remember the bad one, boom, collapse, arms too narrow, too bent. You're looking for the opposite. So I'm gonna go back to, like I always say, a little coil of this belly button, belt buckle, nice, we're not look, locking our back leg, but that twisting action without having to actually sway, we'll just get a little weight sitting into this back leg of ours. And then from here, you're looking for a nice turn of the body with your arms being short. So you can see here, for golf, if I'm more in this position with my arms wide, so my arms are really wide away from me, that's gonna give me the best chance now for these arms to now drop down because this width at the top of the backswing, you can see from the front view, is giving me a bit of room. So I remember back in the day, I haven't got a towel with me, but I remember putting a towel under my 
kind of my um, triceps under my forearms into my chest and kind of keeping my arms together. So if anyone did that, although that feels connected, you're gonna now be disconnected on the way that back. So I think that's one of the worst exercises that you can do to have that towel under the arm, unless you're hitting very short arm swings, very short, in fact. But I'd like you to have a little bit of room, if not a lot, and feel like your arms are away from you. So it's really gonna feel like probably you're, you're swinging your arms really short. And a good barometer is my left shoulder is into my chin. So remember about the driving I did on the last video, my head is allowed to move back. I'm still looking at the ball with my left eye, but my head, as you can see with my cap, is twisted a little bit, allowing me to turn my shoulders into my chin. But more importantly, that's the more, the less is the arms. Arm swing goes no further than that because I'm nice and wide. I don't want this extra bit at the top of the back swing. So if you're used to that, it might feel really short, your swing, but it gives you the ability. Oh, that was stiff. Oh. It gives you me, gives me the ability to remember the one thing to solve for, doesn't have to be four, but what that's gonna give me is a little bit more coil, a little bit more room for my arms to drop down because it's, now I'm giving my arms a bit of room. Not saying they will, but, if, it, but if, you're, if you're used to being over the top, feeling this dropping down and pulling down, which is mm, questionable, is difficult, if not impossible, to happen on the first tee when it's windy in a competition. But if you put yourself in this shorter backswing position with your hands and arms, you're going to give your arms room to drop down. And now you're more in the slot to deliver this club to the ball without you thinking about it, which is the key. So let's try one twist. Feel really short with my arms, very wide, and drop down. Allow them to drop down. Because I'm turned, a lot with my body and my coil, because it's aiming over there, but my arms are only here. On the way down, my arms can very easily catch up in front of my body. If it's the opposite, if I wasn't moving my chest and my arms swang long and club, on the way down, if my body moves a little bit, my club's so far behind my body that it's going to come out and across. So you're going to slice it big time. Not going to help you. You're looking for the opposite. It will feel strange at the start. Everything does. If anything new you're doing, it's gonna feel difficult and it's gonna feel strange. So nice and light, you're not looking for any tension. Take a bit of pace off it. Remember, you're twisting and short. It's gonna feel really short. As Soon as your shoulder hits your chin, you stop your arms and hands. Let's go. Oh, that was better. Remember, you're looking for sequence, everyone order, whatever you want to call it, whatever you've been told. You're looking for that stuff, which is really difficult. You can stand there and practice in front of a mirror. All fantastic. Stand there and you can work on this little drop down, allowing your arms to drop, keeping nice and still, by all means. But when you get on that first tee and play, that's, not, that's pretty impossible to work on because you're working at the quickest area of your golf swing. You're working at the area of transition, especially on the way down. Difficult, blink and you miss it as we know. So you're trying to, a majority, I'm not saying all, but you're trying to, the majority of, your, of this movement happens because you're in the right place to allow it to happen. Okay. Strangely at the middle. It's the same, with, same thing with a fairway wood. Obviously there's going to be a bit more natural length because the arc's going to be a bit bigger, but my hands are going to kind of stop in the same position. See that? Don't really want it going beyond, beyond head height. You don't want any of this kind of movement and collapsing. Remember, good turn, good twist, coil, I like, but your arms are really short. That's going to give you now width at the top of the backswing to allow the width to come down to the ball and hit this and sweep it more. After a period of time, I think you're gonna go, hmm, don't like that feeling. Remember, this is a split second. You're gonna go, hmm, that's when I'm in the wrong position, I'm gonna start backing away. Whew. And that's what happens when you top it. So this is great if you top your fairway woods. Remember, twist, short, 
and that gives you the width on the way down and that gives you the sweeping action of this fairway wood. Okay, any questions? I'd love to hear them. Buzz, over to, buzz them over to the channel, it would be great. I'll do my best. I apologise for the videos not coming out as regularly as I'd like. It's just a little bit manic at the moment, so I'm doing my best to get them out to you at least once a week. I'm going to do a few more out on the golf course if I can, if I can get out there. And I'll see you on the next one. From myself and Trev, good golfing and cheerio.